Hi guys, welcome to Protocoders Point. Okay, so in this Flutter tutorial, let's check out how to implement typewriting text effect in Flutter. So you can see oh, app is been running over here and it has the text widget and the text is getting typed in this app. Okay, so let's learn how to implement the same in our Flutter application. Okay, so now we are in our Android Studio IDE and here is a Flutter project been opened and here I have created a stateful widget which has few widgets like scaffold widget, app bar, text widget and a floating action button. So when this floating action button is been pressed, I want to start the animation uh, to this text field where it to look like uh, the text is getting typed. Okay, so let's implement the same. Okay, so here we need to initialize few uh, variables. So let's initialize it. Okay, so here I have created two parameters of type int which has which has been initialized to zero okay so now let's create a list of string uh, that has few data in it so you can see welcome to protocol as point get programming solution here and more okay so this will this string will get typed in this text field automatically okay by making use of this parameter so to iterate to this string i need to create a function so let's create it so here let's create a function and let's name it as uh, typewriting effect. Okay, so let's code it. Okay, so here if current character index is less than string of current index dot length. In this case, we need to increment the current character index by one plus plus. Okay, and else we need to set the current index with mod operator. Okay, so we need to split it. So if this is executed, then we need to go to second step, then then execute this. Okay, so we are going to do it in this else statement by setting it to mod operator okay so here is equal to uh, current index plus one mod uh, string dot length and then uh, set this ca character character index back to zero okay so after doing this we'll just call set state property okay and we also need to uh, continuously iterate or continuously call this function so for that we will make use of future delay okay so future dot delayed const duration millisecond uh, so let's do it 150 milliseconds okay so after 150 milliseconds i will just call this function again okay so it is getting called okay and now i just need to call this function uh, whenever the floating action button is been pressed by the user okay so let me call it here okay and then uh, here in the text widget i need to use this string by making use of substring so let's use that okay so here string of current index dot substring so the starting will be from zero index and up to the current index current character index okay so how this will work is it will just print the starting index to the current index for example let me show you so here if the current uh, current index is zero then welcome w will get print so here we are going to iterate it so after iterating we are going to just increment the current index by plus one so we will get print in the next iteration 
so likewise the index will get incremented so welcome so this will get printed so it will just get printed something like this okay uh, so let's check if this is working so hot refresh okay so i need to press on this button so you can see it is getting typed okay so now suppose if you want to increase the speed of this uh, typing speed then you can just uh, decrement this milliseconds so if i do 50 and hot refresh let's check so you can see the typing speed got increased okay so let me make 10 milliseconds and check so you can see the typing speed is getting incremented so if i do it uh, 500 milliseconds so the typing speed will get less okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol at this point thank you